Oh my goodness, it's decided. In 2023, I'm going all in on tennis. And yes, I'm dreaming big. I want to get my first WTA point. Too ambitious? Maybe or maybe not. But one thing is for sure. I'm going to do everything I can to make it happen. Hope you're ready because I'm taking you with me. My plan is to put you in my pocket and take you around so you can get a glimpse of my tennis life, see what it takes to get or not get there and hopefully cheer me up. But let's be realistic for a second now. Do I have any chance to reach my goal? Honestly, I don't know. It feels quite far right now, but that's what makes it exciting. I've actually played my first two ITF tournaments this fall and they didn't go great, but I know I can do much better than that. So I'm optimistic. Now let's get practical. How exactly can I get my first WTA point? By playing ITF tournaments and either making it into the main draw and winning the first round in a 15k or reaching the last round of the qualies in a 25k. Not easy peasy, that's for sure. In fact, not having a ranking yet, I might even have some trouble just getting getting into the qualies, but who knows, maybe my national ranking will help, we'll see. So what's my plan going forward? Lots of training for sure, both on the court and in the gym. January will be my prey season, with the exception of the last match of the Finnish league, then either a couple of national tournaments in Italy or Finland, not sure yet, and then woohoo, it will be time to test my level on the ITF tour. But enough talk, let's get straight to business. This weekend I'm playing a B-level tournament in preparation for the Finnish championships of next week, and you bet, I'm taking you with me. It's Friday and I'm heading to the club to have my last practice before the tournament starts. How cool is this weather? Lots of snow and not even too cold. I love it. I put on tennis clothes, have a little warm up on the bike, some mobility exercises and voila, time for practice. Nothing special really, just hitting all my shots both from the baseline and at the net. A little bit more specific work on serves and returns just to make sure they work as they should and a few points on serve where I have to say where I'm serving in advance. And practice is done, feeling pretty good and yes, ready to kick some butt tomorrow. It's Saturday and oh my god, the alarm clock rang at 5.45. What a torture! I look and feel like a zombie and wondering why are we so masochist? My first match starts at 10 but my boyfriend's at 8 so we had to. My goal for today is very simple. Take the ball on the rise, stick take the points and not slow down my shots when in defense. Did I manage? Yes, I'm quite satisfied but I must say it was tough. I really am not used to be the one dictating the base and my whoop can confirm. At the end of the day, after two wins, not even two tied, 6-2-7-5 and 6 0 6 4. I'm completely dead, but happy. It's Sunday and yay, we can sleep one hour more than yesterday because my semi starts at 9. I play with a girl I've already played and won in the past, but she's having very good results lately, so I'm quite nervous. She's very powerful. Will I be able to counter her power and not get driven over? I have to say super low, that's for sure. She starts to match unbelievably well. As expected, very aggressive and strong, but luckily it's it seems to be my day too, so I managed to hang in there and challenge her a lot in the first few games, even though they go her way. And I think that was the key, not letting her cruise. My focus and level stay high most of the time, while her frustration keeps piling up point after point. And I end up winning 6-4-7-5. What a relief. Well done, Ellie. Well done. Now quick lunch with Sushi and then the final. I've never played this girl, just seen her play a few minutes. And my plan is to avoid her killer backhand as much as I can, stay aggressive and be the one taking the initiative. The first set goes pretty smooth. Everything works out as planned and I win 6-1. But in the second set, she raises her level and the match gets tighter. I actually find myself down 3-5 low 40 before waking up and taking control again of the points. Just on time to avoid the third set and close the match with 7-5. It was fun and I even got a medal and a prize. Crazy stuff. Now rest for a day and then back on court for the championships. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, smash the like button below and subscribe for more tennis life. I'll see you in the next one.